You and I are scientists, and we spend most of our lives in the experimental world, but probably what a lot of people don't realize is that creativity is really important for the work of a scientist. Yeah. So perhaps you could share your views on how creativity is important for your work as a physicist. Oh, okay, I think creativity is hard to define, but uh, it's rather easy to recognize when, when, you, when you are confronted with it. And uh, in science, creativity is the ability to put together things which seems disparate, which seems to come from different areas, and to show that by confronting things, by uh, looking at the connection between different areas, one can find new ideas, one can find new concepts, new, new theories can emerge. And uh, this is what makes the beauty of, of the scientific imagination and of the scientific intuition. And it's quite different from what we have in art or in music. So how do you see it being different than the musician or the painter? I think an artist has the freedom to be imaginative and to create things without any boundaries. When you look at a beautiful work of art, you recognize that the artist, the painter, or, or the uh, 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 author has found new ways to express his feelings, to express his connection to the world. In science, you have the same ideas, partly true, but in fact, we are bounded by reality. And as scientists, we think there's an objective world outside. And when we invent new things, they have to be confronted with this reality. And if this experiment does not uh, fit with the theory, we know that we have to discard it. And this makes, I think, a big difference between, a big difference between, between a scientist and an artist. For example, if you take the example of Einstein, if, if he had not discovered the theory of relativity, I am sure that somebody else would have. And uh, so in, in this way, he is less essential to this, uh, that an artist is. Michelangelo or Mozart is essential to his own work. If he, if he had not existed, I am sure that this work would not have been produced. So it's the connection we, between the, the artist or the scientist and its work is quite different in art and in science. So it's such an essential part of the work you do and many scientists do. Yeah. Can that be taught in the same way one can learn you know, the basics of research? You know, we learn chemistry and yeah. we learn physics as a ground. Yes. Can we teach the creativity or is that something you're born with? I, I think the young children are creative, they have to learn their connection to the world, to build, to train themselves, and so at the beginning there, there is a lot of creativity. But now the, the purpose of education is to nurture this creativity and to make sure that it will not be lost. And as you said, you need education. All this has to, to, to grow on a background of knowledge and, and the balance between this, the, the maintain creativity and nurture it by uh, training and by getting education it is a very delicate balance. One word that Adam mentioned was innovation. And you and I talked a little bit about creativity versus, you know, creative versus innovative. innovative. Yeah, yeah. Um, how do you see those two different things and are they the same to you or not? Uh, it's different. I think innovation is more a technical uh, word. It, it relates to producing new devices and, and in my view, creativity is more abstract. It's uh, something that you, it's, it's build, bridging ideas together, uh, having a new perspective on the world, and I think it's more, it, it's deeper than, than innovation. Yeah. Sometimes I think the creative element is fostered by diversity and just different points of view as well. Yeah. yeah, to nurture creativity, you need to discuss, you need to have exchanges between different cultures, between different people. In this respect, I think cities are very important because cities bring people together and cities are the hubs of, of creativity. And it happened in the, middle, in the Renaissance, uh, Florence was, was really the hub of creativity in arts and in science. It's an excellent place to land on. I think we can learn a lot about that and take that 
into the next discussions as well. So thanks a lot, Serge. Thank you.